In today's video, Greg Salo is gonna use all of our new products that we're selling on our Labor Day sale happening right now. We've got new XXL forms, we've got new acrylic powders and empty mixing jars. He's gonna show you how to do it right now. I'm super pumped because we launched a bunch of new products this past Labor Day weekend, and I'm gonna show you how to be able to use those products in sculpting a really cool design. All right, so you saw these right here, these extra long forms. These are the new sculpting forms from Young Nails. I'm also going to be working with Wizard Knickers and Adult Daycare. I've kind of uh, thrown um, a color palette on top, right? So you can actually see what the colors look like. You've got this beautiful grayish silver and this awesome burnt orange. And then I'm gonna be using some of the confetti from um, a previous sale. And this is one thing I wanna be able to say, right? These empty cases, if you guys had an opportunity, uh, they are sold in an, an empty 12 pack, right? So if you wanna customize colors or create your own colors, you'll definitely be able to get a hold of these beautiful gold capped, rose gold capped containers to create custom glitter mixes. Let's get right to the design. All right, so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take the form and what I really like about this, especially for those of you guys that are just working with it, if you pinch the middle one right here, right, you notice that if I pinch the center one, don't worry about the end, uh, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to open this up and I'll have this awesome like pipe down the middle. And you're going to notice that th this is gonna be really easy for me to secure this uh, to the nail as flush as possible, then I'll be able to secure it from the bottom, right? So if I was doing a square nail, um, I, I honestly wouldn't even have to pinch the front end because it's gonna keep it nice and perfect all the way through from this point to this point. But if I was going for more of a stiletto shape, then the nice thing is I'll be able to secure that front end as well. And you can see that I'll be able to get that really tight shape all the way to the front end. All right, so once we actually have the form secure, I'm gonna build a really thin free edge first with Cover Pink. This is gonna act as a foundation layer so that when I'm marbleizing glitters on top, I'm not gonna have a break between the very front of the free edge and the form. All right, so let's go ahead and get a little bit of Cover Pink. We're gonna go a little bit longer than normal because we have the length. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna submerge my brush. I'm going to get a nice, healthy bead. All right, and since I'm working with length, I'm just gonna hold it here for a few seconds before I set it to the form, and then immediately use the tip of the brush, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk this flush to the surface of the nail. All right, boom, right all the way to the end, and then I could start to use really the body of the brush and just kind of feather it out to the desired length, right? So you see how I'm kind of pulling this out all the way to the front. I'm gonna go a little bit longer than normal. Right, just all the way out to the front, stretching this all the way to the tip. Now, the cool thing about these forms is if I needed to add a little bit more, what I could do is I don't have to worry, right, about going, right, to the very edge of those old forms. I could literally take just a very, very small dot. I could add it right here to the tip, and then I can just kind of blend it back. This is really going to establish a beautiful flush extension, right, that I'm going to be able to do my design work over the surface. Okay, so once I've actually built out the length of desire, I'm going to take those two colors and we're gonna kind of marbleize it through the body, creating a nice fade into the natural nail. All right, wizard knickers and adult daycare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of double dip my brush, boom, right, on both sides. I'm gonna set it down to the surface 
and then just use the tip of the brush just to kind of create a really kind of nice marble all the way through. Doesn't have to be perfect. All I'm trying to do is, is marbleize the glitter on top of the extension that I built out. All right, so you can, the beautiful thing about this color is how rich it is. These micro glitters cover extremely well. So I'm just literally just kind of brushing it over the surface. You can see how well it's actually covering the extension that I sculpted. Okay, so once I get to this point right here, I'm using the tip of the brush just to kind of like lightly feather it back. I don't want to create like kind of a bulky build up in the center. So I'm going to use the tip of the brush and just lightly use the tip of the brush just to kind of poke this back. I've explained to you guys in previous videos that if I just use the tip of the brush, it's gonna kind of look like shooting stars going up into the body. All right, so just a hair more, just a slight dot. I'm just gonna add it right here. And then what we're going to do while the free edge is wet, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that confetti, just go ahead and put it onto my towel. Then I'm just gonna use the tip of the brush and I'm just going to lightly start putting it through free edge. Let's go ahead and start packing this in. Now, if you're missing some in certain areas, what you can do is you can take a little bit of, of maybe some clear powder and you can just kind of place it or a little bit of this glitter. Look at this, I can just take a little bit of the glitter. I could just kind of set it here very, very wet. And then I could use uh, some of the confetti that I have on the edge of my brush just to kind of press it into the free edge. All right, so once we actually have this established, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up capping it. Now, because we have this type of length, you can see from the side profile how long this is, I'm gonna have to build the upper arch a little bit bigger to be able to support the length. Let's go ahead and get some speed clear. All right, so what we're going to do is I like to start at the cuticle area and I'm gonna get myself a really nice, healthy amount on the edge of my brush. And I'm not gonna dab it off, I'm just gonna hold it here for a couple of seconds, and then I'm gonna go right to the back end, I'm gonna use the tip of the brush, I'm gonna to touch around the perimeter while the product moves down towards the stress area. And then start pulling from kind of the sides and the front. Right? Because of the speed, it's gonna start setting. Right, but you notice how it starts leveling into perfection. As I start kind of pulling this down, you can start to see the shape that I'm creating. Okay, All right, so that's going to be the first part. You kind of build a nice tight shell around the perimeter and it starts to build the arch out. So I want to be able to lay the next bead in between this one and that tip. Go ahead, get another bead, right? And what I'm gonna do is right in between, I'm gonna set this back, I'm gonna brush it into the body, I'm gonna kind of let it level down. Notice where I'm pulling from the sides and then from the front. Allow the product to kind of run on its own. There's no reason for you to really brush everything forward. I'm building back, right? And I need to be able to fill the space. So in order for me to do that, I don't wanna just start brushing everything flat. I need to start to create that shape. I'm gonna add the next bead right here. I'm gonna go with a much bigger one. There we go. Again, I'm gonna set this right here. Boom, and I'm allowing the product to run. So I kind of brush it from the side, brush it from the side. You see how everything kind of pulls down and over the tip, and then I could use the kind of the tip of my brush and just kind of guide it over the top, making sure that everything self levels into perfection, covering the whole entire free edge. Boom, all right, guiding everything into shape. And one of the things I'll do before I'm done, once I have everything overlaid, in order for me to ensure that I have enough product over the whole entire surface, I need to look at the side profile. So you guys are looking at it from the side profile right there. You know, I just need to make sure that I have enough, right? I'm probably just gonna need a hair more there. At this point, by taking a really, really small amount, setting it down and just kind of brushing and wiping your brush. You saw how I set it down, brush wipe, brush wipe, brush wipe. This is going to add just enough, right, to fill in the space. We're now going to let this dry. I'm going to file this into perfection. And you're gonna see how wicked these colors with this confetti is going to look. I 
hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Also, if you didn't know, we're on so many other channels. Check us out on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Snapchat. The list goes on. Please, please, please check us out.